And we start off with this report that President Mohamed Buhari has addressed the 76th session of the UN General Assembly in New York. He particularly acknowledged reports of our frontline workers in curtailing COVID-19. For this, the president is also grateful to developed economies like the US, India, and China for their generous donations of vaccines. Well, to recover from COVID-19, rebuild sustainability, respond to needs of the planet, respect the rights of the people, and revitalize the United Nations sums up our common desire to rescue our planet, recover our economies, and restore hope to all the peoples of the world. In this regard, my delegation will continue to support the United Nations as the indispensable forum for international cooperation and the cornerstone of the multilateral system rooted in respect for international law, including international human rights law, and predicated on a rules-based order. Mr. President, I want to thank the international community for the concerted response to COVID-19, the solidarity and the drive to contain the first truly global health emergency of our time is a pointer to the many things we can achieve if we work together. On our part, Nigeria has made strenuous efforts to contain the virus and hold its deadly onslaught on our people. Our efforts have been rewarded with moderate success. Despite the acknowledgement, however, I would like to reiterate my call for a fairer and more equitable distribution of vaccines in all countries so that together we can fight and contain the pandemic. President Buhari also spoke against global terrorism at the United Nations General Assembly. He condemned the sale of light weapons to bandits. The president highlighted his efforts to counter Boko Haram terrorist group back home. He entered that Nigeria would participate in the nuclear provision treaty within the first quarter of 2022. We Nigeria remains deeply concerned over the illicit trade, transfer, and circulation of small arms and light weapons. Their excessive accumulation and uncontrolled separate in many regions of the world are having devastating humanitarian and socio-economic consequences, especially on the continent of Africa. It is on this note that my delegation calls for the worldwide application of the Arms Trade Treaty to codify accountability in conventional arms trade, which is critical to the security of nations. This is in recognition of the need for a broad-based global partnership in the ongoing battle against transborder crimes, including terrorism and piracy. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.